J7 Star Bricks, here's something a little different for this channel. We've got the Medieval Blacksmith Lego Ideas set. Number 33. Lego Ideas. Set 21325. 2,164 pieces. Got some lights going on in there. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Oh, we got a dog it and a dude with a bow. Or a lady with a bow. It's a lady with a bow or a dude with a hammer. Some sort of knight with some sort of halberd and a, is that a helmet, I guess. And a knight and a shield and a hossy. And a thighs of the wagon wheel. The actual thighs of the wagon wheel. And we get a side picture of the house. Or blacksmith thing. You know. So I got some foreign language description. And on the back, we've got some features of the set that they're showing off here. Oh, look at that. Light brick. Got the dimensions. So 12 and a half inches wide by 10 and a half inches tall. Got another view of the set here. Looks like it's a modular kind of house. Neat. The only thing I've ever really built that's like that is the Sanctum Sanctorum from the Marble Lawn. Sweet. Let's uh, let's build this thing. Oh, there's a good amount of bags in here. Oh, some plates. Still just with the instruction books in a plastic bag. Needs to be a cardboard sleeve. Cuts down on single-use plastic. Protects the protects the instructions better, Lego. Come on, do better. Do better for us, do better for the environment. Only the best is good enough, right? Cardboard sleeve. First off, we've got the blacksmith guy. So he's got his blacksmith apron on over his trousers. He's got a blacksmith hammer. He's got a blacksmith beard and a short little ponytail not really much detail on the shirt you just get the apron strings on the back here still a pretty cool figure the beard does stick between his neck and his shoulders under the head so he does have two faces although you really can't see them with the beard on but here he's smiling and here he's concentrating on blacksmithing. Blacksmith guy. And we got a Lego dog. Looks maybe like a husky with the tail like that. Yeah, that's, um, that's my best guess. Some sort of husky dog. Woof. Then we have archery lady. And I kind of set her up like she's shooting a bow. And she's squinting her face in concentration. And she's got a quiver hanging on her back. And if we flip the bow out, you can see she's got a tunic and a vest on over it. And then she does have a second smirky face. Lego really likes smirky faces. And it kind of looks like Leia's hair from Return of the Jedi. But okay, archery girl. Then we've got Knight One. He's got a pretty cool shoulder piece on there. He's got some plate and mail going on there. He's got a mail shirt. You can see that kind of reflecting there. I do like that the belt on the waist comes down onto the legs. You can see a little bit of chain mail on his legs there. Got his shield. This thing covers up the print on the back, which is basically just some cloth wrinkles. And he does not have a second face, so he's just got his grandpa knight face. And we've got knight number two. She's a woman knight. She's also got that same plate and mail and tabard thing going on. She's got some different shoulder plates. And she's got a halberd instead of a sword and a shield. She's got kind of a cool 
headband going on there. She also does not have a second face, but both of these knights do come with a helmet that you can place over their head to make them look even more knightly. Ooh, helmet, spiffy. This set also comes with a little Lego horse that attaches to the knight's cart so it can pull the knights around because they're too poor to have horses of their own, I guess. So you've got the little cart. There's a little lantern hanging on the side of the cart there. Some wheels. Got room to sit the second knight in the cart there. And then there is a little bag that Lego has you build into that cart. And I just tossed in their helmets so they don't get lost. Uh, that's pretty neat. And there we go with the Lego blacksmith shop. This is a Lego ideas set. Give you a quick overview of the outside here. And then we'll go into some detail. I love the roof tiles on this. It's so cool. Little pumpkin patch there. And back to the front side. So on the front side here, we've got this little anvil going on. We've got a barrel with a couple of swords in there in the front door. You can see the front part of the stairs going up into the home. We've got the blacksmith's forge area. You've got the billows attached to that, the little blacksmith sign. I like this little overhang here. This is really cool. If you press the billows, the forge lights up. That's pretty cool. Neat little light feature there. Reminds me of Haggard's Hut just a little bit. The light keeping the uh, dragon egg warm in his hut. This is a really cool chimney here. I love how they use those bricks for, well, a brick effect. <laughs> Using a brick for a brick effect? Wow. So that's cool. If we come over onto this side here, we've got the stairway up to the second floor. There's another door there on the second floor. I like this little alcove with the logs piled in there. That looks really cool. And then we've got out here the apple tree and a little well with a bucket here. There's a target on the back side of this apple tree. That's a pretty cool looking tree there. Got the back here. There's not really any detail on the back. I kind of get the feeling you're supposed to, this is the part you're kind of supposed to put up against the wall or not look at very well. I love the sections with the missing tiles here. Like they got blown off in a storm. That's pretty cool. Then we've got the other side. We've got a bone for the dog, little pumpkin patch here. These little windows are cool. I like that little part right there. There we go. There is the overview of the outside there. Now, if we go around to the back side, this part of the roof just kind of lifts off. And you can see into the top of the blacksmith's house here. So you can see we've got this cool little quilt on the bed and some pillows. That bed looks really nice. That's pretty cool. We've got a little chest in there with a backpack, a little bearskin rug. This is the stairway up from the second floor. We, I do find this interesting. There is a writing desk with a quill and a blacksmith shop. This is supposed to be a medieval blacksmith shop. I'm not sure how many blacksmiths could actually read and write in those times, but they do have a little writing desk with a quill there. There's a little candle next to it. There's a little fireplace on the top floor there. So this is a modular set, just like a lot of houses for Lego, just like the Sanctum Sanctorum I built. So this top floor actually comes off quite easily. Just lift the whole thing right off. And then you can see into the middle floor or the second floor here. If I get us a little closer, you can see there's quite a bit of detail in there. There's a little cooking stove there. We can see they've got something cooking on the pot. 
They've also got a cast iron kettle hanging over there. I like the way they did the carrot on the chopping block with a little orange carrot slice off it. Uh, there is a butter churn here. <laughs> there is actual uh, a piece of butter in there as well. That's kind of funny. Uh, we've got some turkey or chicken on the table for dinner. Those chairs are pretty cool with little quilted pads built onto them there. Give the door from the stairway. This does open up. Got a little candle behind the door on the wall sconce there on either side of the window and then the stairs going upstairs. And then again, in true modular fashion, this whole second floor just comes right off. And then we can see into the first floor here. So this is where the armor shop is. We've got some iron rods and a barrel in the corner there. We've got a helmet and some iron kettles and pans that he's working on. Some tools on the wall, another anvil. We've got the back side of the forge in here. You can see where the lights come through still from the outside. Got some armor in a rack there. Got some pieces of iron in a chest there and a shield. So that's pretty cool. And then just like these other sets, you see there's there's only four studs actually holding, well, I guess, yeah, four, actually holding the top floor on here, or the second floor. And that just sets back on there. And then again, four studs holding on the top floor. And that just sets back on there. And then you flip it around. And that just slides on there. That is a pretty cool set. Now this set is 2,164 pieces. Uh, I think when I got this, it was like 150 bucks, which is a fantastic price for that. I don't know if it was on sale or not. Uh, I just happened to luck out and find it at Target. This is kind of a hard set to find and it has been since it came out. Uh, it's just very popular, I think, because it won the Lego ideas and they actually made a set out of it. So it can be difficult to find. I know on Lego right now, it's $179.99. So it's, they either raise the price or I got it on sale. I can't remember which. But even, even at that price at $180, it is over 2,000 pieces. And this is a really, really cool set. Uh, it's especially cool if you've ever liked the Lego castle stuff. I remember when I was a kid, maybe like 10 or 11, I had a, a big Lego castle set. I think that was the only big Lego set I ever owned. And I love that thing. And this just reminds me of that, that whole medieval feeling. Makes me want to get the uh, Lego lion castle and build that too. So yeah, I would definitely pick this up if you're at all interested in the medieval or castle theme. This is a really cool set. Even if you're not, this is this is fun to build and all these tiles on here, those just look so cool. This was a lot of fun to put together. So there you go, guys. That is the medieval blacksmith set. Once again, my name is Jay. This is Seven Star Bricks. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you here in the next video.